I want to know what's the cheapest possible laptop that I can program on and still be effective doing my job. So I went to the Amazon store and I went to their refurbished section. Well, they call it the renewed store. They have this Chromebook, Dell 11 inches. It's $56, $56? For a freaking computer, $56? That's like cheaper than a toy. And it's a real computer? I cannot believe this. All right, this is a Chromebook. So I've never had a Chromebook in my life before. And what I understand about Chromebooks is that it just runs Chrome. So how can you program on it? Uh, can you run? Um, I mean, it's got to run on something, right? Some kind of operating system. Is it Linux? Maybe I'll be able to use a web tool to program. I don't know yet. I'm just gonna click buy now and let's see what happens. All right, I got something here. Look at this. It's the computer that I ordered. I don't know. Is it a computer or is it a toy? <laughs> we'll find out. Let's set this up. All right, I'm going back to the office. It was way too bright out there. So I've already turned it on. I set it up, logged in basically into Chrome. That's the entirety of the setup. And I get this screen right here. Now, while I was waiting for my package, I uh, did some research. And apparently you can go into settings. And then here, there's an advanced section where you should be able to have a developer mode. What? What the heck? There's no developer mode on this one. Okay, this is the advanced section. No developer mode. Um, what's going on here? So apparently when it comes to Chromebooks, they're not all the same. Even though they're writing the same OS, the hardware that they're running on, different models, support different features. This is a Chromebook by Dell. And this particular model is actually not available to run Linux on. So I'm stuck. I'm dead in the water. I'm going to have to think about something else. Maybe I'll order one of the models that's supported. Here we are again on Amazon. Ugh. I didn't realize this was gonna be so annoying, but I guess if you wanna go cheap, it's gonna take you a while. This one is $79. It's not $56. I kinda wish it was the $56 variety, but it's $79. So now I have a toy and I have to buy an $80 machine. This is still the renewed. And this one is supported, theoretically, I don't know yet. Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 11 Chromebook 11 inch. So they're both 11 inch. They're just made by, one is made by Dell. That's the one that doesn't work, but some models on Dell work. This one is the Lenovo model that supported it's on the list of supported models so i'm gonna buy this one let's go one more try i just got a package this is the new lenovo chromebook let's see if this thing has any power ah, okay here's the lenovo one here's the dell one they're exactly the same size incidentally here's the m1 macbook air also the same size, pretty much. So the Dell one is the toy now. I'm gonna put that away. And this is giving me some hope, I hope. Let's try it out. I've already logged in, established my profile, and let's see, I didn't try this yet. Um, settings, advanced, developers, that's new. Look at that. Oh, Linux development environment beta. Can you see that? Look at that. I'm gonna turn that on, of course. Let's try this out. Let's make the username something simpler, like Alex. Install. Installing Linux. I guess it's not on by default. Interesting. So it's downloading the virtual machine. Does that mean it's going to run Linux inside a virtual machine? I don't know. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Hey, I want to show you something. Look at this. It's the command prompt. <laughs> wow. PWD Home Alex. It looks like I'm on a Linux machine now. Interesting. This could be good or maybe not. We'll see. Okay, folks, <laughs> holy moly. I was actually able to get Linux on here and I plugged in an external monitor. So now I can actually record the screen and show you what I'm doing on the screen. And I guess it supports external monitors. So that's pretty cool. I can have it on my big screen now. So now that I've got Linux on this thing, really freaking curious to see how to use it. This is nice. It's, it feels right at home being able to use the same commands to increase the font size. Okay, what I want to try doing now is, I guess I want to see if I can run like, um, I don't know, a JavaScript application on this. I got to get Node installed. Now on a Mac, I would use Homebrew, but uh, I forgot what to do on a Linux machine. <laughs> Sudo apt install Node.js. Okay. Is that gonna work? Uh, it didn't work. I guess I gotta go with apt get update first. Sudo apt get update. Okay, it's doing some updates. Let's try fix missing. Ah, 
it's just not working. Incorrect or missing packages. I'm gonna be a little more direct here. How to install Node.js on a Chromebook. This, this is the command, really? Okay, let's try it. Uh, control C, control V doesn't work. Really? How do I paste? What? QV to view a clipboard. Oh, search plus V. What is that key? Oh boy, I've never seen that. I don't even know what, I don't know how to paste. When you don't have copy and paste, you can't program. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna do this. How to copy and paste on a Chromebook in terminal. Why is there, why does there need to be an explanation article about this? <laughs> right click on the terminal and it will be added to the terminal instantly. How do I right click? I can't believe I'm getting tripped up by copy and paste. What the heck? What, what is that? What? How did I paste? How did I paste? <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. All right, when I press control V, why does it give me a carrot V? When in the history of computing is a carrot V useful instead of what I'm trying to do, which is paste? It's telling me something is copied, but I just, and it just pasted it twice. How? I mean, you're seeing this. You're seeing this, aren't you? <gasps> Wait, what? Do I just click in the middle and it pastes? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try this again. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Copy. What happened to that line? Copy. I'm glad Control Z works. I'm gonna paste. <gasps> yes. Mm. Okay. What? Repository changes version value from 10.8 to 10.12. There's two different methods for doing this. I'm gonna try the second method. Now I'm gonna try this right here. Back to terminal. Okay, please work. <gasps> That worked, whatever that was. Uh, that was um, installing curl. I, did I not have curl before? Yeah, this one says set up, but a different version for some reason. Let's try it, why not? Copy that. By the way, pasting, I'm just tapping in the middle of touchpad. I'm just tapping in there and that's pasting for some reason. Okay. Well, uh, it's giving me some messages about Node. Uh, and it's giving me a deprecation message that Node 13 is no longer actively supported. I just want to get some kind of Node in there. Oh, and I'm getting those same errors again. Let's try 16 here. I don't know if it exists, but maybe it does. Same errors. You know what? I'm going to add sudo to this command right here, to this curl command. Okay, if it's giving me permission problems, then I just wanna add sudo and see if that fixes it. And it does not. Um, I'm gonna have to search for that in our friend Google. I'm gonna just run this code. I don't care. I'm just gonna try it. Why the heck not? I got nothing to lose. And I'm gonna try not to buy any more Chromebooks. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to use a different cheap computer. That message is just super annoying. Huh, it's doing something else now, so that's good. Seems to be doing stuff. <gasps> Did it work? NPM, command not found. This is telling me to run this command for some reason, and I'm gonna freaking just do it. This is why I never remember how I installed anything, because sometimes you just have to try different things and I forget which one works, because then I get excited by it, and then I just keep working away, and then by the time I need to do it again, I have to do all this research again. So folks, if something does work for you, take note of it and maybe write it down somewhere or make a video, I don't know. <laughs> Success, node version 16. I got node installed on a Chromebook. <laughs> you know what that means. What the hell does that mean, Alex? That means I need to take the next step and install the Angular CLI. Angular CLI is pretty simple. It's just npm install g Angular CLI. Let's do it. So this is a global installation of the CLI. And then I need to create a new project using the CLI. And that would be right here. I'll consider, oh. <sighs> Okay, let's do sudo. I'll consider this successful when I have an Angular app running on this Chromebook. Now, why am I doing Angular instead of like, uh, I don't know, just a pure JavaScript app? Well, I already have Node installed, so just having JavaScript is, uh, I wanna do something a little bit more advanced. And I'm not doing React because that's gonna be too simple. I'm not doing Vue because that's too simple. Angular is gonna be a little bit more complex, so if Angular works, then the other will work. Let's see, ng-version, okay, Angular CLI, yes. 
<laughs> Next, let's see where I am. And I want to create a code folder. So make directory code, CD code, make directory ng test, CD ng test. This is where I'm going to put all my Angular stuff. So I'm going to go ng new to create a new Angular application, my first app. All right. It's not spiffy, right? It's not, not spiffy. It's not Swift. I mean, it's JavaScript. I know it's not Swift. Programming joke. It's not quick is what I was trying to say. It takes a while to do all these commands. I don't know if anybody wants to see me compare the speed of this machine to like a M1 MacBook. Probably not because we know which one is going to be faster. By how much faster? I really don't know. But if you do want to see that, let me know in the comments. Here's a clock of how long it's taking so far and when it's going to finish. Okay, it's done. That took a while. <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. I'm going to run the command ng serve to actually spin up a local server to run the app. Let's see how long this takes and whether this will even work. Is this going to automatically bring up Chrome? By the way, can I install other browsers on this thing? Probably not. I, oh, I have Linux. Maybe I can install Firefox through Linux. Another video. Okay, build compiled successfully. And it seems like it launched it, but it didn't open the Chrome browser automatically. So we got to go to localhost. HTTP localhost port 4200. Folks, we have liftoff. I'm now running an Angular application locally on my Chromebook so I can develop this app. I'm I'm just I'm just overjoyed. And it doesn't seem that slow when I actually run the app. Now, I don't know about the development experience yet. That I might have to make another video for because what am I gonna use to edit my code? What am I gonna do this in Vim? I doubt that. I would probably need to research how to install Visual Studio Code on Linux and see if I can get that working. But for now, I'm pretty happy about this. So I got my cheap computer, it's 80 bucks and I can do development on it if I really needed to. Web application, JavaScript development at least. And since I got a Linux environment, I could probably do other sorts of development as well. Just don't expect to be doing any kind of uh, machine learning on this thing. Hope you liked the video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you wanna see any more of this uh, experimentation stuff. Thanks a lot folks and I'll see you next time.